I'd forgotten how much, especially on the flights, you know, doing the preseason games and traveling on the flights. I mean, you're getting on the plane, they give you cheeseburgers and sandwiches, and then that's before the meal comes out, and then the meal comes out, and they got candy bars and ice cream yeah. bars, and I mean, it's just like. Load up on Saturdays. Oh my who, goodness. Who's your Who's your biggest eater that you guys had as teammates or anything? Anybody come to mind as a big eater? Probably Rim. Dave Remington. We used to kid him because he'd get at camp, he'd have his tray, and we'd all be sitting down. And when he sat down, you would not see his face for 10, 15 <laughs> minutes. You'd see the top of his head. He'd sit it down, he'd say hi, and then he'd go. <laughs> and he'd wrap his elbow around oh. that food like somebody was going to take it from him. And then early on, you remember Rod Horn from oh, Nebraska, sure. oh, nose yeah. tackle. Oh, yeah. He eat three, four entrees with no problem. On the road with me, my roommate was Tom Dinkle. And we'd eat on the plane, and we'd get to the rink, and he, you know, I was a rookie. He'd look at me and go, room service. Right <laughs> and he'd order $40, $50 worth of room service. Oh, my God. And he wouldn't eat it. He'd eat half of it, and then we'd go eat dinner. And he'd leave it there and leave it covered. It'll be good when I get back. And he'd eat it later. And then at 9 o'clock, you know, we had an hour or two before bed check, he'd say, more room service, rookie. <laughs> I would go through $100 easily a weekend just feeding him. I wouldn't even get these. Oh, man. <laughs> That's amazing. Mine was, uh, my rookie, there was a guy named Bob Maddox. Could draft in the ABA and the NFL. Really? Really good athlete. But he was like 255 trying to get to 260. I've never seen a guy eat as much as wow. this guy. I get behind him at training camp at first breakfast. He takes a tray and pours a whole box of cornflakes on the tray. Puts it under the milk, and like you said, takes his false teeth out <laughs> and just goes. I mean, he goes. T bone steaks, seven of them. I mean, really? Wow. We, we had turkey one time that, you know, four guys are supposed to share a turkey. He put a Tasmanian devil thing on that, and it was a carcass. Wow. That was all that was left. He ate it all by himself. Wow. Take those false teeth out, and he was done, man. I've never seen a guy eat like that guy. That's amazing. He was, he was ridiculous. <laughs> One thing I like about the offensive line, you know, I always I always think that position group wise, it's the most stable position on the team in terms of personality, you know. Yeah. And I think I think the guys usually as a group get along pretty well. I think it's the it's the nature of the position though, because you know, it's kind of like the team within the team. If you throw the ball twenty times and everybody gets beaten once, everybody can grade an A. You grade 95 percent. You block your guy 19 times. You get beaten once. You get a 95. Right. But if we all get beaten on different plays, we grade as a group of 75. All right. Quarterback gets hit five times, so everybody individually gets an A. But as a group, we get a C. Right. So you're only as good as the guy next to you, you know. Exactly. And I think it's almost like uh, brotherhood. Yeah. You know, I mean, they become so close and tight because you are you're totally dependent on the guy next to you. You know, playing against Joe Green that first time. Because you read and, you know, you watch all the stories on him and read all the stuff, and it's like, I mean, I really can't even remember any plays in the first quarter of that game. I think I was so, like, freaked out, you know? I remember the game, but not specific things that you usually remember about a game. It's like you're playing out of your mind. It's like your own personal Super Bowl against a guy like that. My rookie year was, they had just come off their fourth championship beating the Rams out in Pasadena. So I walk out on the field as a rookie, and they still have everybody. I mean, Dwight White's across from me. They got Greenwood and Joe LC, Green. Yeah. They got Ham, Lambert, Blood, and Shell. And I'm just looking over it. Do I get some autographs for yeah, really? <laughs> I know. I don't get some autographs. Then I play the game. I know. The offense had everybody. Swan, Stallworth, Cunningham, Blyer, Franco, Bradshaw. It was. It was. That was a who's who. When I came out of high school into college, I weighed 235. <laughs> And my, I, fit, I make second team. I'm traveling squad right at 235, 240. So we go to Texas, right? And the right tackle in front of me gets hurt. And it's Kenneth Sims. Yeah. So it's his senior wow. year. He won the Outland, the Lombardi and all that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Wow, man. Yeah. They call a timeout when the right tackle goes out, right? So offensive line coach, his name was Clovis Hell, had a real high-pitched voice, and he had a gold tooth, front tooth, and comes running up, Joe? Now, you got to be careful. This guy will kill you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just, just Great like, words of encouragement. Yeah. Looks over at the right guard and says, George, you got to help Joe now. He's got to have your help, right? <laughs> so this is going on. So we go out there, and I'm 
He's, you know, scared to death as a freshman, you know, senior Kenneth Sims, you know, he's the big stud. And I get down to my stance and I see how big he is. And I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm dead, <laughs> right? First play's a pass. Next thing you know, the, play, the ball snapped. I go back faster than Rocket Ron Reeves does. <laughs> he just gave me a ride. And Ron goes, well, I saw him go by. Thanks, Joe. I didn't get sacked. He went by so fast. <laughs> he, to stop. he was a yeah. He was the number one pick with the Patriots, right? Yeah, I mean, he yeah. was a, he was a stud. Yeah, and then he blew his blew his knee out, right? Yeah, yeah.